I'm Maggie from BackToTheLandLiving.com and today I want to show you how to make wood slice coasters. To make these wood slice coasters you're going to need a few things and so you're going to need wood slices, you're going to need some pencils, uh, some permanent markers, preferably fine tip or nice because it's easier to draw with. You're going to want some sandpaper, some wood varnish, which it's optional but it looks better if you have some varnish on it, and an idea of what you want to draw. So for the wood slices, you can either cut them yourself or you can buy them. So I made these myself. Uh, I just took some of our wood that we use for burning in the winter and I used the chop saw and cut it about a quarter inch thick. Um, you can do this yourself too, you just need to make sure you have dry wood because as the wood dries you can see it makes a, a crack in it and so that's not a great example but say for this one it's nice and full so you want to have nice dry wood when you slice it. If you don't want to make it yourself or you don't have the ability to make it yourself you can go and buy some so you can buy them pretty well anywhere. So you can buy them on Amazon, you can buy them on Etsy, you can buy them at Michaels but it's nice if you can get them yourself because they're free. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you get your wood slices is you're going to want to sand them down a bit. And so I'm just using like a medium grit sandpaper, it's 120. And you're going to just want to sand it down and just keep sanding it until it's as smooth as you want. So I've done this with friends and I've never sanded them at all and they look fine. But if I'm going to give them as gifts or make them for myself, I want them to look nice. So I'm going to sand them down a bit. As you sand, you want to sand and make circles so that you don't have little lines in it. So once it is as smooth as you'd like, you can put your sandpaper away. And I'm going to brush mine off a little bit to get off the dust. And then it's time to draw your design. And so you're going to want to use a pencil for this unless you're very confident in your drawing skills and can go straight to the permanent marker but I'm going to draw with a pencil first. And so you can either freehand draw your design or you can use a stencil or trace something. And so I've made this sheet with some example designs, so some things that I like. And I have this over on my blog, so if you want to print it off to use it for yours, you can just go over, follow the link below, and go over and print off this sheet. And so I'm going to pick one that I like, so I think maybe I'll do some birds that are, here are some birds on the line. And so what you're going to do to transfer this image to your wood is you're first going to color the back of the picture. So I flipped my picture over so the good side is down. And I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to just color over the back of it. So once you have enough um, graphite on the back of your image, you're going to put this on top of your wood coaster and then trace over top of the image and that will transfer onto your wood coaster. So you trace it on and then after it is traced on, it will be very faintly on top of your coaster and so then you're going to take your um, permanent marker and so a fine tip one is nice for this and you'll take your permanent marker and draw over top of what you have traced on. And so once you have your image all drawn on, the next step is to varnish it. And so you can stop at this step if you want to, but your next step would be to take some wood varnish. And so I'm just using a clear wood finish that I found in the barn. And you're going to take this and then paint the top of it. But you're going to want to let this set for a few minutes first just to let the marker soak into the wood. And then you'll just either, you can get spray finish that works nicely or you can just use a paintbrush and some varnish and varnish on top of it. 
So that's how you make a wood slice coaster. They're great to make for your home or for presents, for Christmas presents and for housewarming presents. I've done this as an activity at a housewarming party I threw for my sister. I just cut up a bunch of these wood coasters and had some pencils and some templates and some markers and some a table with some wood finish on it. And it was great because ki the kids could do it and also the adults could like doing it too. And so it's a fun activity to do. It doesn't need to take a lot of fancy supplies. You can do it with just a Sharpie and some pencils, or if you want to get a little fancier and use a wood burning tool, that can be fun too. I'm going to try doing that next time. So that's how you make wood slice coasters. If you want more information or if you want those templates, you can head over to my blog. The link will be below and you can print it off over there. I hope you enjoy making your wood slice coasters and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.